Hello and thank you for joining me on a very, very special day. Today I am on the, uh, looks like a canyon road and <laughs> some nice park around here. So here's a canyon road just outside of LA. It is uh, five o'clock uh, on a Friday, so it is rush hour down there, but I'm up here. It's quiet and I have that. So this is an, it's a, uh, I believe it's a 2015, 2015 Alfa Romeo 4C, there you go, Alfa Romeo 4C Spider. Um, it is not a press car, it's not uh, a friend's car, it was actually, um, it's actually rented. So uh, I rented it with Turo. So Turo is sort of like a Uber for, uh, like personal rental cars. So uh, with Uber, you would use your uh, personal car to do taxi service or uh, you know some somewhere thereabouts. This you would rent out your personal car to people to enjoy. And Turo has some really really interesting cars. So I contacted uh, Steve from Turo, and he set me up with this. And this belongs to a guy named Ryan. And Ryan let me have it for the time that uh, I'm spending in LA. Now I'm gonna go over this car, and then we're gonna do a quick drive around these awesome awesome roads i mean you can just see the elevation here it's i'm going to shut off for a second it is so quiet up here so i'm going to do a walk around and then we're going to actually drive this thing i already love this car more than anything but i'll uh i'll let the the video and uh pictures and sound speak for themselves so Here's a, oh, just gotta make sure I don't get hit by a car over here. So here she is, it's a 2015 Alfa Romeo 4C Spider. This has a 1.7 liter turbocharged four cylinder, uh, makes around 237 horsepower and around 250 50 torque. Um, I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but this car is really light. So it has a carbon fiber uh, monocoque chassis. And that means that it's it's actually more supercar like than uh, than anything you get at this price bracket. This is about um, you can get them brand new for eighty grand, but they'll they'll go all day long for for sixty. I believe uh, Ryan, the guy who gave me this car for uh, for a few days, he said that he bought this one and it only had like fifteen hundred miles on it. He bought it for around sixty one thousand dollars. But this one is a beautiful black. I'm not really too into black cars, but uh, man, this thing looks freaking awesome when the light hits it just right. It is uh, a mid-engine rear-wheel drive car. It has a six-speed double-clutch automated manual transmission and the spider, uh, the roof comes off. So the roof is right here. And the reason that why it's right here is because all my stuff uh, is actually in the back. So let me show you how big the trunk is. And it's actually not that big, but it's a little bit bigger than you may think. So you pull that. And I have one carry-on here. So it's, and you can probably fit a little bit more in there. You can see the Alfa Romeo 4C, 1.7 liter turbocharged engine. Man, this thing is just a beast. So you might be wondering why somebody would want to buy a car like this. And, you know, considering that there are cars that are more powerful on the road and cars that are more, I mean, like, uh, more dailyable. I mean, this is not a very practical car by any means. Well, it drives better than any car I've ever driven, especially for this price bracket. It is absolutely the ultimate canyon carver. Um, oh, obviously there's going to be Ferraris and, and uh, whatnot for, uh, for that purpose. But if you just want a fun weekend toy, this is a lot of car for your money. So without further ado, I'm going to go inside and I'm just going to let you hear what this thing sounds like. Okay, uh, I put the top on, let me secure it in place. 
Yeah, put the top on because I don't think you'd be able to hear me otherwise. It's going to be loud and uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. So there's a few different driving modes here, none of which are actually drive. You have to put the car in one, which is first gear. This has a automated dual clutch manual. So we're going to put it in one. Okay. Then we're going to put it in manual. This is automatic or manual. And let me see if we can, maybe you can see that. I'm not, I'm not even sure. Maybe I'm uh, wasting my time here, but um, here is a DNA switch. So we're right now we're in N that is normal as natural rather. We're going to put it in D, which is dynamic. So that sharpens up throttle response. That does a lot of interesting, interesting things to the car's suspension and, uh, and engine mapping. And uh, away we go. So one thing you'll notice is that this car is very loud. But the turbo noise is awesome. So right after we get out of this turn, stop sign here but I guess that's, that's okay. this is some more residential wow this is just hairpin after hairpin <laughs> get the back end out a little bit some stank on it. fiber sports car around the canyon oh, life does get worse let me tell you
wastegate opening up when the turbo get, reaches max boost. I have no idea how much boost this is pushing, but it feels like a lot. It's a 1.7 liter, it just, it just wants to make this car go and go. And the, lost my train of thought. All right. I'm gonna stop and take some pictures because this is absolutely breathtaking. All right, top is off just so you can see what kind of insane wind noise we're gonna have. So I'm gonna leave you with that. Uh, if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, as always. If you didn't like the video, I don't know, you know, watch something else because this is a lot of fun. Hopefully it came out on the video and hopefully the sound wasn't too messed up. But uh, I'm going to leave you with this awesome, awesome road and uh, I'll see you again next time.